The 3-1. Is a hard ground ball to second. Brown will turn and throw to first and gets the easy out, but you see Irvine on the board first. And here he is, just one walk this season, looking for back-to-back -back days of free passes. Instead, he smacks it up the middle, and this should tie the game up. Steals can walk home as Joe York ties the game at one. And in his Little League All-Star game through a no-hitter. As the first pitch is it high and deep to left. Viegas has left the yard for the sixth time this year. Ambushes the first pitch. The Mustangs are on the board up two to one. A slight stop at home plate. And the Mustangs home run hitter adds to his team leading total. So Cal Poly gave Betos a chance to get out of the inning, but with the bases loaded and despite it being right on left, they said, all right, well, we need someone who can throw strikes at this very moment. The 0-1 is lifted to center. Steals is right there. Hangs up out number three. It only takes two pitches and Baum leaves him loaded. Halfway home, UC Irvine capitalizes on an error to score two. Now he comes up in a little different scenario. Just needing a fly ball to tie the game. And he lines it to center. It's dropping in for a base hit. And we're tied up at three. Jake Steeles delivers. Only his eighth RBI of the year. The Mustangs have knotted things up after their 13th hit. The 1-1. It's lined down the left field line. It is gone. Is it off the wall? No, it's safe. It's not off the top of the wall. Is it three runs in or a double? It looked like it hit the top of the wall. What is it? So here we are, the umpires are congregated together. Either three runs have scored, it looked very close to being gone and it bounced back into play. The Mustangs may have just taken a six to three lead. And now all the umpires are coming together to discuss, is it a home run, was it even fair, was it foul? Of course, we haven't updated the score, but if Stafford stays at second, it's six to three with a game winning or game changing double. And they call it a grand slam. So Ryan Stafford, pause for the drama, a go ahead grand salami. Seven to three, Cal Poly leads it. The second straight day where the Mustangs hit a salami. This time it's Ryan Stafford after some discussion. The 3-2 from Baum. Right field side, King goes underneath it, and it's over. Cal Poly wins their first Big West series of 2023. In come from behind fashion, seven to three. A much tougher game than it needed to be. Ryan Stafford, the game-winning grand slam in the bottom of the eighth after the Jake Steele's game-tying RBI single brought the Mustangs back from one run down in the bottom of the eighth. You see the final total.